Morning, are you okay? You all right, everyone? So I'm gonna make a hot pot today, or my version of a hot pot today, because I make it slightly different all the time. Um, so I've got my slow cooker on, I'm gonna do it in the slow cooker. I've even got some lamb leg steaks. I got these from Pioneer, I'll show you them. They're about £2.50 each. You can use any sort of lamb, you can buy stew and lamb and that's a bit cheaper, it's just a bit fattier. So, I've got four, because this is for four. It's for four, but it'll feed more than four, I believe. There's four good lamb steaks. And it's dead quick. I've chopped four carrots, a turnip, two sticks of celery. Normally I like to put some leeks in a hot pot, but I don't have any, so we're not having them. In there you go. I like to keep my potatoes whole, that's how my mum done it. Some people slice the turkey on the top. If you do it that way, you'll have to do it in the oven, it won't work in the slow cooker. So, potatoes go in as well. Give it a mix around. Spread everything out. A beef stock pot. water out of the kettle. Now I put black pudding in mine but if you're doing it in the slow cooker don't put your black pudding in yet. If you put it in now it'll just mash up and black pudding's already cooked but we're going to finish this in the oven um, later on. So I've put water in not to the top. I'd say the water's coming to about there maybe two thirds. Two thirds of water. The slow cooker's on high and it's gonna go on for five hours. Sorry, I've got my back to you. Five hours. Now you know I like a bit of cling film. Create a seal. Now that's it. You don't have to think about that for five hours. Five hours. Go and get on with your day. If you wanna keep it in there all day, put it on low. And it'll be ready from, for when you get back in, wherever you're going. But that's Sunday dinner sorted, easy as that. Right, I'll come back to you later on in the day. Have a good one. See you soon. I called that cling film. It's not, it's foil. Foil. Right, so it's been five hours. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that looks good. So we need some gravy in. Put some gravy granules in because you want all that stock to thicken up. Give it a mix round. So once you've mixed it up and you've got all your gravy granules mixed in, we're going to put your black pudding in and then put it in the oven just to finish off. I like my black pudding to be a bit firm. I don't like it to be disintegrated. So I've got my black pudding. And we'll just nestle it in. Come and have a look. Just sort of nestle it half in, half out of your gravy. And it needs to go in the oven for about half an hour. I've got to put the oven on. 200 for about half an hour. So this should be ready now. The house smells lovely. It smells dead nice. Just take it out. Try not to burn yourself. Right, come and have a look at this. How nice does that look? Come in and have a proper look. Proper close up. Mm. So you've got no dishes, no dishes at all. Everything's done and in the one pan, just find some meat. Your meat's falling apart.
don't even need a knife. Beautiful. Make that next Sunday. Burning my mouth. Like it. Definitely share it. See you soon. Bye.